Happy Star Wars! Star Wars! Star Wars! My name is Rob Sima. I'm the Vice President of the Missouri Pyrotechnics Association, and welcome to Sky Wars 2022. My name is Sam Christensen, and we are at Sky Wars this year in Innsbruck, Missouri. It's the United States Fireworks Championship. We bring the best and the brightest pyrotechnicians in from around the United States to compete, as we like to say, in explosive combat. Sky Wars is really awesome because there's so much that happens in such a short amount of time, basically one weekend. It all culminates on Saturday, which is the giant public display. Seven different pyro musicals, and three of those are gonna be a pro-am competition. And then there's one unlimited show, and then three professional displays, which is the one-three competition. Besides that, there's a ton of fireballs. The fireball dudes out here, they're gonna do a couple super nukes for us this year. It's amazing to see. It really warms up the crowd. Uh, this year is gonna be a little bit unique. We have a drone show and maybe even some laser entertainment in between shows. And it's just the biggest show that you could have in one area in one night. It's insane. The week leading up to Thursday is a lot of setup and prep. And then Friday, the pyros get to do a little bit of shows just for the pyro side, which includes product demonstrations. 15 demos, so we're lucky to have a lot of sponsors that provide the fireworks that we will see in the Pro-Am displays. They provide some of the fireworks that we'll see in the blind pyro competition. That's our demos tonight. So thank you all to the sponsors. A blind pyro after this. So blind pyro is like chopped for fireworks. Joe's pyros. Love and drama. Penguins. Sky Lords. We give four teams a pile of fireworks. They have no idea what they're going to be, and we say you have four hours to produce and put on a pyro musical. Think, 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 Jessica. Think, think, think. My name is Jessica. We are the drama llamas. We have a mixed palette of product. I've got four hours to turn it into a show and put it out in the field. It's 3.45. We've used a third of our time almost. We're fine. My name's Tim Phillips. You don't know what you're gonna get, you know, so that's an anticipation, but it's just that you're on the clock. It's a little intense, but fun. Eliza Jane. I am here friends. with my family and two friends. Yeah. Lost Penguins, that's our team. Nathan Phelps. The name of my team is the uh, Sky Lords, and uh, we're bringing the rain. The uh, rain is definitely delaying things, but I think we're just now getting to where the rain is passing by and we can start setting product where we need to and have a show. Got it, got it. They just set up as much as they can, and then they have to stop at 7 p.m., and then we get to see the creations that they made in that short amount of time. 10 minutes left, how are you feeling? So 10 minutes left? Yeah. Uh, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous. I'm a little stressed, but I I've got to be okay. I've got to I've got to believe that I'm gonna be okay. Blind pyro, two minutes. Pretty nervous. Loving every minute of it. We'll give you our personal guarantee. It'll either go or blow. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. The show is to honor our late cousin Joe, and so we would kind of pick songs he liked, you know, win or lose, uh, in dedication to Joe. to see how the other competitors do. We are doing a show to the song Penguin Lament. When you are a penguin and I am one you have no I want to win. I think we'll at least do pretty good. Little legs cannot stride so we rock side to side side to side side to side to we can't even fly! Show number two. 
I'm not really after winning. It's more of I can show my craft to other pyros. It's a great event to bring multiple people all across the nation and we can really do what we want to do. There once was a ship that put to sea and the name of the ship was the Billy O.T. The winds blew harder, bowed it down below, my bully boys blow. Soon may the wellermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go. All right, team number four, fire when ready. I definitely need to win, and I think I'm gonna win because I picked an amazing group of people to help me with this show. Bring your scoring sheets up here to the, to the uh, sound booth. We'll announce the winner later on this evening. Oh my God, oh my God, we just pulled that off! Winner of 2022 Blind Pyro, show number four. Yeah! Yeah! I know Jessica, but I know that she just got her license to shoot fireworks within the last year. She's really been coming a long way, and I mean, they were amazing. They were obviously the best tonight. What a way to spend an evening after demos and a show. This is the way to go. I was trying to wiggle my way. All right, thanks guys. I just want to take a quick inventory of where folks are. 21 Gun Salute, all done, ready to go, okay? We've got a good two and a half hours before the show starts, so let's take the time and make sure that it's right. There are maybe 300 pyrotechnicians who will be helping out in the field. We've got so many people that help and volunteer their time to make an event like this go. Aim, fire. I like Sky Wars because the Mo Pyro crew works so hard to make this event a success. It's by Pyros for Pyros, but the audience really gets to enjoy that as well. These guys put on a, a heck of a show. You know, you see things here you wouldn't see at your local fireworks display on the 4th of July. level of expertise of the groups that are here shooting. The giant 12 inch brakes that touch the ground, you don't see that anywhere else but Sky Wars. On behalf of the Missouri Pyrotechnics Association in Innsbruck, we would like to welcome everyone to our 17th annual Sky Wars U.S. Fireworks Invitational Championship.
like that one? We could do something bigger if you want. How about a 12 inch JM gold lace Camaro? That shell is bigger than the arch. There's lots going on during the day. Starting at two o'clock when the gates open, the kids' festival field will be open and we've got bounce houses and bubbles and face painting, all kinds of things for the kids to enjoy. Wait a minute, put my cup, put some liquor in it. And then we've got a live band for playing most of the afternoon. People bring cornhole out and you know they just make a nice afternoon in the sun and we have food trucks and so they grab food from the food trucks, come out, get relaxed and get ready for the big show. This is a huge event. The field here is just going to be so crowded with people. About 10,000 people usually come to attend Sky Wars. Brian Craig, I'm with Craigco. I love the crowd. They have a great crowd here. And as pyros, that's a big part of the reason we do it is because of the, the cheer of the crowd. It's well attended by pyros as well, but the public is just amazing how many people show up for this. pro-am competition where we take three competitors and we put limits on them. I say it's like stock car racing. For the most part, the things they're using are the kinds of things that the average person could buy in a tent. The three competitors, Brian Lewis and Paul Bertram and Mike Allen, they're just going to bring it. There's just no way around it. So it's going to be a great night overall. I'm Mike Allen with the Pro-Am competition. We're known as Bluegrass Boom. Our show is Top Gun inspired. Took songs from the first and second movie, so Danger Zone, Top Gun Anthem. It's gonna be a fun show. A lot of ground effects, comets, mines, a lot of fan slices. So we brought Maverick here. We've been kind of taking them around. We go out to the field, we get a picture there. They kind of dedicated this tent to all the Pro Am competitors, so we've got all three of us in here. It's raining outside right now, so it comes in really handy. And we've been doing all of our setup and wiring in here. We're just about to the point where we're ready to start taking it out to the field. Tomorrow we'll add the modules to it, do all of our checks, and we'll be ready to light up the sky. My name is Paul Bertram. My show is designed to stretch the limits of consumer grade fireworks. I'm using product from 11 different vendors. It's a privilege to be able to do something like this. You're getting to showcase your abilities to one of the biggest crowds possible that they're only focused on the most beautiful art in the sky and then having that fade away and then being repainted right afterward. So to be invited to this event is daunting, especially considering all the logistics and all the other issues that have come up and being able to overcome them, it's, it's awesome. I'm Brian Lewis, and we're a team, it's not a game. So we're doing a 1970s ELO, Electric Light Orchestra, and primarily all of our shots are single shots. We're very passionate about making sure that every beat has a particular shot exactly in the perfect spot in the sky. My wife and I script it. What's funny about her is she goes, I want this and I want to see this. And then I have to take that and put it in Finale 3D. And then I've got my son, my daughter, my daughter-in-law. I've got a few friends. We're just a family. I've got the greatest team. I've got the best team. I had the pleasure of having people volunteer from multiple different clubs. If I lose, I'm going down kicking and screaming. They brought their A game, which is great. It's going to be a fun competition. We want to win, but we're just excited to be here. And so I'm excited to see what they can do, and it's going to be a blast. Other two teams, I can't wait to see their shows. I mean, I've been going around the curtains on both sides here, seeing what they're doing. I'm first, so I get to sit back and relax after I go and enjoy their shows.
Sky Wars, everybody's here about the art of the show, the pyro musical. Taking that music and taking that show and using them to complement each other and bring them to levels that nobody else does and doing things that nobody else does that you'll probably see nowhere else in the U.S. We now have the judges' scores for the Pro-Am competition. Our 2022 Sky Wars Pro-Am champion is team number one. Mike Allen from Glasgow, Kentucky. Congratulations, guys. Mike, how's it feel to be top gun? Top gun, there you go. <laughs> My name is Mark Trebez and I'm at the Innsbruck Field of Dreams. We are camping with our best friends over here. We've been coming to this since day one, basically. And uh, we bring our kids and grandkids and our great grandkids and it's a family affair. Skywars! Skywars! <laughs> I have a 1974 Jeep CJ5. It has a 360 AMC engine and it's rocket propelled and gets us around rather quickly. <laughs> I'm Terry Winkle. Friends, family, fireworks. It's bringing it all together, and we've been having a lot of fun. For members of the pyro community, we do have some on-site camping. We've got a raffle going on during the day where they can win fireworks. We've got a bonfire going every night. It's a weekend away with like-minded fireworks people and a chance to talk pyro and see some great fireworks. To all these people who are saying, fireworks, fireworks. Yeah, no, this is fireworks. This is how it's done properly. We do have a class here. It's the PGI Display Operators class. We love helping people to be able to shoot shows, and that's one of the ways that we can help them do that. There's a term in fireworks called pass fire. Very important, pass fire, because anything doesn't pass fire in this shell, it's going to fail. And there's about five or six things that have to happen on every shell for it to go off in the air. We're just here to help promote the safe and artful use of fireworks. I'm Tim Jameson. I'm the owner of Innovative Pyrotechnic Concepts, and we're at Sky Wars. 
first time I came was 2009. It's grown and moved venues a few times because it kept outgrowing the venues, and now it's just a massive event. The event started 17 years ago, and you know, in the first year, I think it was six people in somebody's side yard, and then the next year it got bigger. We moved it to a new site, outgrew that, moved it to another site, outgrew that, and now we're here at Innsbruck. It's the first year they've got a professional competition. There's been professional companies shoot here before, but not to this scale. So there's three different companies and we will shoot back to back to back and then the judges based on a grading scale that they've predetermined will decide which shows the best. I'm Beth Stacy. Chris Stacy, owner of North Texas Pyrotechnics and we're going to put our best foot forward and try to please everybody here tonight. I'm doing it we're using Imagine Dragons and one of the songs they have is Whatever It Takes and that's kind of a motto in our family. Well, we've got about 2,400 cues. About half of that is big 1-3 shells. About half of it's the 1-4 pro line type stuff. There'll be some segments with a little thunder. We'll, we'll make a little noise. It's going to be exciting. Anytime you, you have rain all day, it just it slows the process down. You just got to plow through it. You know, we get the canopies out, you get wet. Your feet get a little heavier. You've got to keep everything covered as you're working. Certainly weather is always a problem. I think it slowed them down, but they were able to get right back on track by the end of the evening. Everybody seems like they're in pretty good shape today. Thankfully, it's good and dry today, so we're thankful for that for sure. Aaron Mayfield, CEO and founder of AM Pyrotechnics. Our show will be somewhat unique in that it, it has virtually no Chinese fireworks in it. Around 75% of the show was manufactured at our facility, and then 25% of the show is from the Panzera factory in Italy. Amber Mayfield, we've been building the shells for a couple months. I believe just in the finale there's 2,000 cues, mostly AM pyro with some Italian stuff. Except for anything that goes wrong, and then, you know, that's somebody else. We have live fire dancers in the show. I really enjoy incorporating acts like that. It's more like a Broadway play than just a fireworks show. I'm Pyro Katie. I'm working with AM Pyro, and this is Boots. We will be playing flaming instruments, three flaming violins. We will be using uh, camp fuel, white gas, playing the violin with the bow on fire, and then a fire breather as well. In addition to fireworks going off during that part of the show. To my knowledge, entertainers haven't been incorporated in this competition yet. It adds an entire other element to the show, and I think it really sets us apart as a team. Boots will be taking a nap while we are playing the flaming violins and waiting for the after party where there will most likely be barbecue. Thank you very much. We have a caterer. He does a great job, really good food. That barbecue blew it away. They did a really great job with that. Oh, and the cookies. E-Man makes all those cookies, and I look forward to coming and getting those every year, too. Obviously. <laughs> the big challenge for us is trying to get all these people in one field. So each competitor gets a series of lines. The depth of their display can only be 20 feet, so they got to fit different rows of 20 feet. And so this field, even though it's 1,200 feet deep, is filled almost the entire way with fireworks. So the competitors have to cooperate to make sure that they are staying out of each other's way, from loading in to when it comes to actually shooting their show. They've got something set up, they think it's gonna work great, and then they realize that somebody's got a fireball that's gonna be three feet away from their 40-foot tower, and that's not gonna work. So there's a lot of collaboration, there's a lot of last-minute tweaking to make sure that the site layout works well. Nobody's fighting. What if what if position A is also position A for this other team? Like, well, they just work together. It's not that big of a deal. Everybody here is professional and cordial with a lot of friendly competition. 
right now, you know, I'm looking at the field and I can see 50 or 60 people walking around. There's at least 150 people out there at any one time. The logistics of the field itself can be really challenging. It's just mind blowing how much pyro can fit on this field and how much can go up in one night. I'm Tyler Cole with Innovative Pyrotechnic Concepts. I scripted it, me and Tim, we worked back and forth on ideas, things that haven't been done before. We've got 10 raised level positions. There's a man lift, about 400 different devices on it with a tower down below it. We've got 21 frontage positions with 18 or 1900 single shots. There's 2700 shells loaded out back. Total show is just shy of 4000 cues. The opening song is a little different. We're gonna be doing a lot of really fast sequences across the field, up and down the tower, things like that. I'm interested to see if they play out the way we've got vision. There's a few moments throughout the show I'm really excited to see. There's a brocade willow to strobing segment with the shells that I think is gonna be fantastic. There's some shell effects that I'm really excited to see. They should fill almost the entire sky and make a wall. Everybody likes a little bit of competition, so getting out here and being able to compete a little bit, it just drives innovation, push ourselves to not only perform better for our shows, but also to give a better show for the audience. We are having a drone component tonight, so Sky Elements drone shows from Fort Worth, Texas. Rick Boss with Sky Elements drone shows, and we're out here flying for Sky Wars. We're gonna have 200 drones in the sky. We're just kind of doing a little exhibition of what drone shows can look like, so there's some geometric shapes. We'll throw in a little bit of Americana in there as well. This drone show gets quite large. It's gonna be about 470 feet wide, up to 400 feet tall. You know, it's controversial. So there are some people in the fireworks community that feel like drones are gonna take over fireworks in some way and it's a threat. Personally, you know, it's 12 minutes out of a three hour show. I think it's gonna be a great intermission. Our drones might push away some smoke, make it a little clearer, I don't know. It's gonna be unique because they've never had a drone show here at Sky Wars. So this will be the first time we're excited to bring it to the crowd. It's something different and I've never really seen a drone show, and I think it's great that they're here. You gotta have a little bit of everything here. It's like putting syrup on your pancakes, you know? A little extra. The other thing that you can see at Skywars that you really can't see anywhere else is our gasoline fireballs. The fireball dudes have been coming from Memphis for the last 15 years. I'm Bill Corbett with Fireball Dudes, and we've probably been at Skywars at least a dozen years. We enjoy it the most out of any event we go to. We're making lift charges, as we call them in the firework world. To be able to shoot a fireball, you have to contain a small amount of black powder, airtight, and it's gotta be in the bottom of a pipe full of gasoline. So what we're doing here 
is using supplies that we have purchased that are impervious to solvents and gasoline. And tomorrow when we screw all this together, these little containers full of black powder will drop like a rock. Black powder blows up in the bottom of a steel pipe and ejects all the gasoline up into the air for a fireball. What we decided to do this year is attempt a world record. So we got to shoot more than 1,230 gallons of gasoline. And we're going to go about 1,400 gallons. And it's going to take maybe 20, 30 seconds to get it all up in the air. This year, they're going for a world record 1,465 gallons of gasoline in a single fireball event. And we're going to have a 400 foot high fireball out here that's going to keep everybody warm, that's for sure. A lot of people have spent a lot of hours doing calculations with heat load, radiant heat, made sure the crowd will be safe. And that's why we're not shooting it all at once. This is such fun. <laughs> yeah, gotta spice it up a little bit. We are at a firework event, right? Fireball dudes, kill the heat. Fire. That's right. exhibition display tonight is from Ellery Ho of Fort Wayne, Indiana. We also have some new things up our sleeves that we think you're going to enjoy. The second competition is brand new this year. It's our pro competition. So all the limits come off and pretty much anything goes. Well, obviously everybody knows Aaron Mayfield. Not just a professional display company, but one of the top manufacturers around. Aaron's always at the top of his game every time he comes out. So we're expecting a strong show from him. Chris is the dark horse. We may all be shocked running home with our tail between our legs. Just to be mentioned in the same you know, sentence with those two guys, that's an honor. So we're not under any illusion of trying to outdo two of the best display companies in the country. I'll say this much, we're going first. So for at least 15 minutes, we'll be the leader in the clubhouse. That's the price you pay.
if you can evoke emotion in the crowd with the music as strongly or stronger than the fireworks, that's half or more of the battle. I always have a part in there that I try to do for my wife. That increases the emotion in me, which enhances the artistic part of the display. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart. Usually it's a love song. It feels, yeah, euphoric. Desire. <laughs> And that one is you, no other will do. I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you love. And with your admission that you'd feel the same, I Reach the goal I'm dreaming of. Believe me. Just want to start a flame in your heart. Anytime you get to share the field with other professional companies, it always stirs those competitive juices a little bit. We try to go in with it that if we're not going to win, we're going to see one hell of a night of fireworks. In today's society, people bound themselves to limits and we need to go outside of the box. We need to create the fantasies and the ideas that we think are impossible. They're really not impossible, it's just we're not trying hard enough to achieve them. That's how we ended up coming up with the show and, and the overall design. Like pyro, you're just gonna have a little bit of a pyro orgasm. The shows just blew us away. From the pro-am shows to the pro shows to the fireball dudes and their super nukes. 
I mean, we can script our own shows with our own clubs, but it is absolutely nothing compared to the amount of product, the amount of talent, and the amount of time and effort that we put into the field for a Sky Wars event. If you come to Sky Wars just once, we're going to ruin you for fireworks forever. Everybody thinks they've seen fireworks, but the reality is unless you've been to Sky Wars or one or two other shows like that, you've never seen a true pyro musical, at least not in the United States. Not just fireworks that are set with music, but they're actually set to music exactly down to the hundredth of a second and they're timing the individual shots right along with the beats of the music. If you see it once, you will come every year. And I've seen adult people brought to tears by a beautiful pyro musical and that's why they should come. And now, without further ado, our 2022 Sky Wars Pro Division champion is team number three, Tyler Cole with IPC. Congratulations, guys.